OpenAI just dropped Agent Kit, and in eight minutes, you can build an AI agent that used to take your team months. I'm not exaggerating. At the Dev Day 2025, Christina Huang built a work agent live on stage in under eight minutes. Today, I'm breaking down exactly how it works, how it stacks up against Zapier and NA10, and the hidden limitations nobody's talking about. Hey, I'm Tim, founder of AI Operator, where we help businesses and founders actually deploy AI, not just talk about it. If you're a founder, developer, or ops lead who's been stuck duct taping to the workflows, writing custom agent code, or trying to figure out how to make AI actually do stuff in your business, this video is for you. On October 6, 2025, OpenAI launched Agent Kit at DevDay. This isn't just another API update. This is OpenAI going head to head with Zapier, NA10, and Make. And companies like Ramp are already cutting their development time from months to hours. Here's what we're covering today. What Agent Kit actually is, why it's different from ChatGPT, live walkthrough of how to build your first agent, real pricing breakdown, what this will actually cost you, head to head comparison, Agent Kit versus Zapier versus NA10, the brutal limitations OpenAI doesn't want you to know about, who should use this and who shouldn't. This is not sponsored. I'm showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's dive in. Okay, so first things first. Agent Kit is not another ChatGPT wrapper. It's a complete toolkit for building AI agents that actually take actions. Think of it as ChatGPT with hands. Building an AI agent meant writing custom orchestration code, building your own chat UI from scratch, manually setting up evaluation pipelines, spending weeks on front end work. Agent Kit bundles all of this into four tools. One, Agent Builder a visual canvas to design multi-agent workflows, drag and drop like Canva for AI. Two, chat kit, pre-built chat interfaces you can embed in your product in minutes. Three, connector registry, centralized control for connecting agents to your data sources, Google Drive, Slack, and so on. Four, evals for agents, testing and optimization tools to make sure your agent doesn't go rogue. It launched in beta on October 6, 2025. 800 million weekly ChatGPT users can now access this. Step one, setting up Agent Builder. First, you need an OpenAI API account. ChatGPT Plus does not give you access. You need the developer API. Once you're in, navigate to Agent Builder. Open Agent Builder. Here we are, we already have some templates here and I love it, they actually call it create a workflow. Build a chat agent workflow with custom logic and tools. You do already have some existing templates that you can click and see or create your new workflow. Here's what you see, a visual canvas with nodes. Think of it like an A10 or Zapier, but built specifically for AI reasoning, not just automations. You start by dragging in your first node. In Christina's demo, she built an event assistant for DevDay. Let's build something practical, a sales agent for the AI operator website. Node one is your user input, input is text, this is where it starts. This captures the website visitor's question. Two, file search. And I have a vector database. I'm uploading a PDF, which is a sales deck about our services at AI Operator. I'm going to attach this. Here we go. My file is attached. It's uploaded. So this is now in a vector database. And you have an ID here if needed. You copy it. You will have to enter your vector store ID. Great. Let's reduce the results to five. This is the number of chunks of information that it will pull from my database and bring it back. So I'll say five and I'll enter a query here. According to the user's question, and then here, let's put in context the user's question. Search for information that can help you answer. All right, very simple. Not my best prompt ever. That's fine. Let's connect these two together. All right. So somebody asked a question. We go to a file search to our AI operator services PDF. We bring back five results. And now we need an agent that will take that information and will answer 
and then in our agent we're doing our prompt and then we're making sure that we're using that variable perfect and now we can preview it yes we offer corporate ai training ai first mindset training 12 weeks 12 live interaction sessions weekly assignments and an innovation competition certification and digital badges i raised price forty five thousand dollars for up to 50 people amazing we even have our full ai transformation package as a second layer, which is awesome it includes the team training and capability building nice oh wow it even this decided to put my calendar link that's really cool wow all right so this works we do have a logs of the responses so that worked really nicely and then if you go come widget you could create widgets this is the widget builder there's some really cool stuff here you can build this type of little widgets that can live inside your chat so you can serve certain answers with widgets which is quite cool let's do some evals so we could do a bunch of tests cool so that's how you build a very basic sales agent but you can do so much more we can add a guardrail right we can do things like you take the input and then you put on a guardrail node then you check for the guardrails which could be pii moderation jailbreak hallucination continue on error or anything like that which is awesome so here you could do things like you add an if else and then you can say you know if the question and the answers are about sales and it's good you know go to transform that and then go to an agent you know that is the sales agent if that doesn't happen else basically you can go to another agent that says hey you know i'm here to help you with sales related questions would you like anything else blah 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 what's also cool that like you can just add your notes mcp's model context protocol which is similar to the connectors in chat gpt which you can watch on the video that i've done and then you can also do while which is looping so you can loop some things while something is happening you can have an approve or a reject like the if else but it's about human in the loop which is very cool and yeah you can get the code and publish it with chat kit or with agents sdk and this is where you can add the allow domain and uh, make sure that you're publishing your agent so that's really it you know preview publish you have a few little things where you can just make sure that you're just clicking on things. You can go back on your builds. So that's Agent Kit. It's not bad at all. It has a lot of potential, but I think the magic is going to come when we can connect these to custom GPTs or to ChatGPT itself somehow, to the agent inside ChatGPT. You know, that's where I think this is going to get incredibly cool. And then it's going to win over many of the other platforms. Let's get real. Should you ditch Zapier for this? Zapier 8000 plus app integrations, dead simple for non-technical users, and not built for AI reasoning, task-based pricing gets expensive fast, no true multi-agent orchestration. NA10, open source, self-hosted, autonomous agent routing, agents decide which tool to use, works with any AI model, Claude, Gemini, and so on, steeper learning curve, no built-in chat UI, agent kit, Best in class chat UI, 21 widgets, integrated evals, and visual workflow builder, 800 million ChatGPT users, instant distribution. It's not connected to ChatGPT yet, but in their announcement on the blog on the bottom, the last sentence is hinting at something coming very soon where it will connect Agent Kit into ChatGPT. Okay, let's talk about what nobody's saying in the hype cycle. Limitation one vendor lock in. You're married to OpenAI. No cloud, no Gemini. If OpenAI raises prices or you want to switch models for cost optimization, you're stuck. Limitation two, rigid workflow logic. Agent kit doesn't have autonomous routing. Building a simple weather agent requires six plus nodes. NA10 does this in two nodes with agent autonomy. Limitation three, unpredictable costs. Pricing is token based. During a traffic spike, your bill can skyrocket. One company reported their costs triple overnight during a product launch. Limitation four, not ready for non-developers. Despite the drag and drop UI, you still need to understand API integrations, workflow logic, security best practices. If your team doesn't have a developer, this is a tough sell. Limitation five, missing enterprise features. No SOC 2 or HIPAA compliance yet nor source attribution you can't see where the agent got its answer no audit trails for regulated industries finance healthcare this is a showstopper quick question have you tried building an ai agent before all right let's wrap this up open ai agent kit is legit it's not perfect but it's the fastest way to go from idea to deployed ai agent right now especially if you're building custom support research assistance sales assistance 
or internal tools. Here's what you need to know. Use Agent Kit if you're already in the OpenAI ecosystem, you need a chat-based interface, you want speed over flexibility, you have a developer on your team. Skip it if you need multimodal support, you're cost sensitive to usage spikes, you're in a regulated industry for now. You want true autonomous agent routing. My recommendation, build a simple agent, customer FAQ bot, document Q&A, whatever. See if the workflow clicks for you. If you hit the limits, pivot to NA10. If you love it, go all in. The bigger picture. We're at the beginning of an AI agent explosion. OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, everyone's racing to make agents the new app stores. Agent Kit is OpenAI's bet. Whether it wins or not, you need to understand how it works. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. AI tools, no BS, just practical guides. Turn on your notifications to receive my latest videos. If you found this useful, leave a comment. What's your biggest challenge with AI agents right now? Thanks for watching. Now go build something.